Hey guys, Coral Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Jancy. And this is Obi. And we're back with Pokemon Ultimate Journeys. I gotta admit, after last episode, I kind of feel like my journey's done. Ash is the winner of Yay! the Master 8 tournament and the Pokemon champion. It's very exciting, okay. and you gotta watch out because yeah. it's also very dangerous sometimes. I wonder what these last four episodes are gonna be. Yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. not really sure. Uh, but, I mean, last episode was the best Pokemon thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was amazing to watch. Oh, that. That uh, intro song? Yeah, that watch Ash oh. and Pikachu take on Leon and his Charizard with the classic theme. Yeah. And if anything, I don't want to watch the next episode because now I gotta listen to a less hype theme right after that. I don't know. Yeah, I want them to, I hope like the last episode mm -hmm. of this that they play that intro song. I doubt it. You know? But or maybe I'll, at the end, yeah. the closing, mm -hmm. the original closing song. Or or, you know what? We will fall in love with this one after the, hitting the high of last one. Yeah, and now, we're, now our gas is empty. I, I gotta admit, though, one. I don't even remember what this one sounds like. Uh, uh. No, I don't remember either. <laughs> Project Mew is an organization. Ah, uh, Project Mew. Yeah. Look, it's Gary. That was Gary Oak. I know him. Whoa. Drew. They have a mobile lab. The short dry season has arrived earlier than expected. Now, here's the plan for us chasers. We chasers. will land on Faraway Island and make the climb to Table Mountain. And from there, we'll start our search for Mew. <laughs> I like the mouse just around here. <laughs> All right, Faraway Island, Table Mountain, Mew. There's a long trek up the mountain. I know, I know how good Gary is as a trainer. I'm not sure about the other two. I don't know about that drone flying like that. Ah, uh, that's just, that's how it's supposed to be. When it starts to shake, that's how you know it's working. The view from here. <laughs> the view from here. Funny. Mm -hmm. Tell me the moment you find anything. Right? Much I got success, just woke up. Jesus. This is her. That's vertical. Look at all the Pokemon we How can are catch. they going to get up that cliff? Rock climb. Oh, wait, they have flying Pokemon. <laughs> hey, go. Can you start the sensor? All right. The psychic sensor? They really should have made it look like a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that would have missed opportunity. <laughs> Willen, you study mountainous regions and the kinds of Pokemon who make their habitats in harsh environmental conditions. He lives for challenges like that volcanoes and stuff. So their outfits are all awesome. Yeah. You, will you try to catch it? You gotta catch them all. <laughs> Why did he just ignore him? <laughs> Maybe he's undecided. <laughs> The way we talk about the Pokemon we'd like to catch, I wonder if Pokemon think about what trainers they'd like to catch them. I would hate for that oh, Pokemon to be disappointed in me. Aw, oh, you. Oh. <gasps> was that a Mew sound? That, that was totally a Mew. Oh. What is that? Oh, that's terrifying. is ah! <laughs> one of my favorite Pokemon. He's my strongest Pokemon in Pokemon What's that? Uh, I know, I recognize him, I can't remember the name. That's just terrifying. This thing attacks you in the wild. Yeah. Oof. I wouldn't want to be caught in the middle of like a natural Pokemon fight. Yeah. That's a Verizian. Verizian. Verizian, that's right. Yeah. I caught it that's the, Verizon. my cell phone provider. Really? No. <laughs> Doesn't it have to be that tall? <laughs> and it gives off a pristine vibe. It hasn't changed its shape in several hundred million years. In ancient times, this might have been the axis or the center of the world. Really? What? The center of the world? And we named it Table? Hmm. That's why it's not shaped like a switch. Working. Stopped working. That'd be bad marketing. Yeah. No oh, ones. no electronics. Yeah, it's like Hogwarts. Could it be affecting the Pokeballs? Yep, Pokeballs are just small little marbles. So the Pokemon are stuck in them? Hmm, I don't know. Should I know they, they can they can get out if they want, but maybe, I guess. Should they get all their Pokemon out first? And the source? It's, it's Mew. Mew. Does that mean he's close? Yeah, I would say so. All right, he can climb. Got those claws. Yeah, uh, what was the one that climbs in a... Sneasel? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's his evolution, That's right? his evolution. Yeah. 
in uh, Arceus, right? Yeah. Arceus Legends or whatever. Legends Arceus. He just like runs with yeah. you on his back in the little basket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grookey can climb too. I don't see Azimaril oh. climbing very well. Yeah. <laughs> That's too big. That's way higher That's than I thought it was. That's death if you fall. Hey, can they all Head fit on there? Uh, a skarmory? Oh, no. You bastard! <laughs> Why? What, the hell? what a oh. dick! <laughs> Are they like vultures planning to eat them after they fall? <laughs> just like, get pranked! <laughs> Grookey, go! Throw my stick at him! Oh, look. Oh, there's a path. They could have just taken a path. <laughs> We're going to change course! You guys are free climbing this? How does Azumarill climb? I don't know. I'm just real good at it. Sticky hands, I don't know. Oh, the finger strength. He's <laughs> 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 so round here. Isn't that... Mm -hmm. Oh, there's treasure behind that waterfall. Come on. Mm, rainbow. There's definitely a treasure chest. You gotta look. Let's go back the way we came. He's yeah, a a a Azumarill should be able to do something about it. What is it? <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, treasure. Yeah, they're close. Okay. They're the only two with the rope, right? Uh, he has secured an anchor. He's the Bear Grylls. Does Bear Grylls climb? Yeah. He takes celebrities out and climbs with them. I was going to say Jason Momoa because he does that free rock yeah. climbing. <laughs> Pokemon? They're carving. I hope they're sleeping. Careful, this could be dangerous. Yeah, I don't know what moves they know. What they know, explosion. I'm in this little cave. Oh, I don't like it. You don't like caves. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> like the sky and big spaces. Hmm. Mysterious pit. No, I don't want to go in the hole. It's too perfect to be natural. Yeah, a trap. It looks like I keep going to Harry Potter. Sorcerer's Stone when that plant, like... <laughs> yeah, the Devil's Snare? Yep. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I know there was deep, dark caves in this. Luminous Salem. <laughs> it's a cherry berry. It it's like eaten. it was being eaten. Was it by a Pokemon? And it wasn't that long ago. How can she tell? This Pokemon professors know. There's something like fur sticking to it. Fur? And it's very <gasps> An obi hair. It's an obi hair. <laughs> it might even belong to Mew. Mew is furry? Yeah. Oh, most Pokemon are furry. They just, know that. They just look, you know. Is Mew too furry? I think so. He looks so sleek. I think it's like, uh, like a horse. I, I always assumed it wasn't furry. Yeah, just skin, like a yeah. Egyptian cat? Yeah. yeah. I never thought I'd see so many fossil Pokemon cool. naturally inhabiting a place. Oh, I don't like that one under. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Mew won't appear if it picks up the thoughts of humans who have any bad intentions, right? Not a problem. You Is don't have any bad intentions, do you? Some trainers tried to corner Mew and well, they cornered it, while others had fire or beams yeah. of ice hurled at them. Well, I don't Get beat, it. I'm yeah. Mew. Is it possible those trainers did some really awful things? Yeah. <gasps> it's Mew. I like his little sparkles. I know. It flies and gets glitter everywhere. Yeah. It's kind of terrible. No. I don't want glitter. It, it, it dissipates into it's the It's self-cleaning glitter? Yeah. Okay. It, just, it sparkles. It's okay. not glitter. All right. <laughs> Professor Amarath must be pretty, what is it, FOMO right now? Because he's so. cut off, right? Huh. What's that? Kabutops! Yes! <laughs> they don't have Pokemon. <laughs> Fossil Pokemon. I always love Kabutops. He has swords for hands like Scyther. Oh, that's scary. Ugh. I hate caves. Grookey's pissed. <laughs> Take stick! He's so little! <gasps> no, Grookey! Okay. Okay. He tried. Yep, yeah, he was he was brave. He was brave. All right, we're just running through. Oh, poor Grookey. Aw. Why is he sad? Because he wants he needs to get bodies with a stick. 
and you, he wants more violence. Ah, uh, wait, this better not be Eternatus, is it? I think it's Groudon. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's Groudon. Uh, there's a legendary in here, guys. How did they not see that? Like, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> yep, I don't want to know what's in it. Oh, oh man! Is it a Kyogre? Yeah, it's a Kyogre. <laughs> Do we need to catch some Pokemon? <laughs> they, their Pokeballs don't. There's work. some bangers in here. That's why they're still here. Will go and the rest of the team actually meet Mew? The answer as the journey continues. Will they meet Mew or will they be destroyed by more powerful Pokemon? Ripped to shreds with their sharp teeth. Can they catch a legendary? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Project Mew. We have yeah veered right into this other storyline taking yeah. place adjacent from the Masters 8 tournament. And I'm having fun looking for Mew. Kind of hoping we would see a little bit more of the celebration with Ash first, you know? Yeah, I understand. Maybe like, we'll get back to that yeah, before the end. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I have to say, you know, I, I look at these adventures and this story through the lens of playing the, the games, right? The Game mm -hmm. Boy games up until the, the current generation. And I would be so mad if I got to this island, it says you can't use Pokeballs, and I was seeing all these sweet Pokeballs, yeah. and I can't catch them. So, I would be so mad. I'd be looking for a Game Shark, trying to get cheats, so I can go catch these Pokemon. I I was wondering why, like, because he fought that water... Yes? <laughs> he fought that water Pokemon, like, yeah. more on the outskirts of the island. Yeah. Why didn't they just walk back there, open, like, all let out Pokemon. all their Pokemon? It's a long way. And then go, you know? If I can avoid walking, I will. <laughs> but for all of your Pokemon? <laughs> no, I agree. I understand. Like, why wouldn't they just backtrack a little, you Yeah, know? well. And then let the professor know yeah. that the electronics would cut out. Because sure. he's probably just sitting there waiting like, hello? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> yeah. I imagine that the writers of this show are like, well, they could do that. But they're like, yeah, but, you know, it's a kid's show. So let's have yeah. some fun. So there's are just so, some fun. So six people, right? Six people. Mm-hmm. A couple go. professors that seem to know exactly what they're doing. You know, that moment when they found the uh, half-eaten berry, they Look had real... at this OB hair. <laughs> just like they found the new hair on the, the berry. But didn't that have real, like, Bigfoot, like, hunt energy? It's like, oh, look, yeah. something ate this. Yeah. It was probably Bigfoot, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, look, there's a hair <laughs> yeah. on it. It's like, you don't know that's a Mew hair, do you? Have you ever gotten a Mew hair? But then I guess they can compare it to uh, Mewtwo mm -hmm. that they've encountered before. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you also mentioned it, too, when they brought it up. But Pokemon having a preference on which trainer catches them. Well, we do know that Pokemon want to become stronger. Mm -hmm. They want to level up. And they know that they need to, you know, the best way of doing that is with the trainer. So they want to be caught by an ambitious trainer that wants mm -hmm. to make them stronger. Um, but, yeah, I can imagine... You know, certain high level Pokemon with like amazing IVs and has been doing great in the yeah. wild, and it gets caught by like youngster Joey. They might be like, dang it. But do you think that what they can just sense what, tra what the trainers mm. are like? Because yeah. when the trainers are like going after certain Pokemon, there's mm -hmm. the different types, there's yeah. the different, what is it, species, sure. I guess, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. But not with the trainers. No. You know, like there's only humans. Yeah, they're just people. I mean, there are certainly. You know, crappy people. But some Pokemon don't know. Like, some Pokemon mm -hmm. don't know that their trainers aren't good people. Yeah. There's the classic Charmander episode where that trainer leaves Wait, Charmander. Yeah. <laughs> but leaves Charmander in the woods, and Charmander's still loyal and yeah. still waits for him, even though it should know better. But mm -hmm. it's also a, a child Pokemon in that regard, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that Pokemon like animals kind of have just a feeling about people. Except Obi, who loves all people. And has no idea that there are people that might not like him. Everybody would like him. Yeah, we've yet to meet one of those people, though. <laughs> so he might be correct. So Table Mountain, table Shari Mountain. Sharima. Yeah. A, uh, they said something about it being like a, like a scary noise or something? Well, it was the axis of the center of the world, they said, right? Yeah. And it hasn't changed shape in millions of years. Yeah. So That's why all these fossil Pokemon are here. How that does they've been that isolated. happen? Like, is there a thing over it? Because natural yeah. rain and everything would mm -hmm. change the shape of the mountain, wouldn't it? 
I guess. Erosion, I mean, yeah. like, you know, millions maybe, of years. Maybe they just mean, like, there hasn't been, like, tectonic change or something. So it's something preserving the island. Like, this has been know? the same since, like, Pangea or something yeah. like that. So maybe, that like, Mew is yeah. preserving the island. It could be yeah. all that psychic energy yeah. that's turning off, electri- you know, electronics and stuff yeah. like that. Not to bring that into the, that mm-hmm. private world that they yeah. have there. Mm-hmm. When you beat a wild Pokemon and it faints in the wild and you don't catch it, does it just stay fainted until someone comes along and heals it? Aww. Or does it like naturally get up after a while? I mean, when you faint, you do come around sooner or later. Yeah, but whenever like but all of your maybe, Pokemon in your yeah. party are gone, you white out and go back to a Pokemon Center. Yeah. But Pokemon maybe that in the just wild don't brings do that. them back sooner. Like it helps yeah. them recover sooner. I suppose there's also like there's chances and other Pokemon out, out in the world that like like heal to others. heal Pokemon, yeah. yeah. Maybe there's something there. Because otherwise, I feel like we would see like with Pokemon fighting each other in mm-hmm. the wild naturally. Yeah, you would just come across fainted Pokemon just lying. Yeah, I can you imagine know? being like a Pokemon scavenger, and I don't actually battle. I just, just like, like I wait for someone to faint and then ha ha throw my Pokeball out. That's that's such a <laughs> sad way. <laughs> Hey, what am I going to do against a Groudon? Yeah. I can't bring my Pokemon out. <laughs> so what, you're going to wait for something to defeat it and it faints? <laughs> Got to catch them all somehow. But yeah, we have Groudon and Kyogre, two of the legendary Pokemon that... What was the other one? When people bring out, I'm always like, dang it, your team's broken. You're cheating. You're using the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> what were the others? I missed... Uh, I got Carb... Carbink? Yeah, and Carbink. I dropped down on Kyogre, but mm-hmm. I missed what all the other fossil Pokemon were called. Uh, there was Kabutops with okay. the swords. Yeah. There was um, Aerodactyl, which is yeah, like the gray it. dragon one. There's a bunch that uh, I, mean, I recognize but don't know the name. Yeah, yeah there's uh, the one that was under the, you know, that freaked you out that was swimming yeah, was under. It? It's a fossil Pokemon. <laughs> Starts with an A. I cannot remember the name right now. But I think I've caught most of those. See, a lot of the Pokemon in later generations mm-hmm. I caught on Pokemon Go, and that's how I know them. Uh, so, I might feel a small connection to Go, who I think is named after that mm-hmm. that game. So, Professor Amarath is back in, was it a ship or a drone ship? Yeah, it was like lab? a mobile lab yeah. that has the psychic detector. We've got Quill, Quillon and mm-hmm. Danica, mm-hmm. and then Horus, Gary, and Go. Yeah, right? I think that's most of them, yeah. For a second, when Danica was, like, she was quiet and paused, mm-hmm. you know, when they're walking in that cave, yeah. and they're like, I wonder why Mew, like, is mean to mm-hmm. you know, some people, and she was just quiet for a second, it made me wonder, like, what are her intentions? Oh, mm. no, no, they brought up Bad how intentions. Mew can hear people's thoughts. Yeah. And the two of the kids, the younger ones, were just like, well, I don't have any bad thoughts. I don't have any bad thoughts. Mew should show up. Yeah. And she was just silent. Yeah. So it made me wonder, like... Do the do the adults have an ulterior motive? Maybe that was a pause, like <laughs> like the bad kid going to see Santa at the mall. Yeah. And Santa's like, "Did you do anything bad this year?" And you're like, "No, <laughs> no, I'm on, I'm not on the And then to list. bring up like, "Oh, well, sometimes Mew's not nice. Mm. It just happens, to, you know." Yeah, and no one really knows why. Mm. <laughs> so I wonder if she's like got some other intentions. I don't know. And that does that mean Quillon has other intentions too? Yeah. But I'm interested to find out what's going to be happening yeah. next. You know, we keep talking about how amazing the first intro of Pokemon mm-hmm. was, and we had this amazing callback last episode. But when you think about it, that intro has Mew and Mewtwo. It's the first two things you see. So it's kind of a cool thing if this is a true book into the to this chapter of the show to have uh, Mew show mm-hmm. up in there. I am curious. In the comments, tell us, did you guys think Mew and Mewtwo were furry? Or did you think they were, like, skin? skin-like, you know? Uh, yeah. Because I always assumed they were skin-like, especially in that 3D animation mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. He was smooth. Yeah, no, I mean, it he might be. He had no fur. I just always assumed it was more like a like a fine horse It could fur. be, but he was shiny yeah. in that, you know, movie. Oh, uh, does he sweat? I don't know. Is it just, like, sweaty skin? Maybe, Mewtwo and because he was also, like... Are there like, veins under there? Like, I don't know. It's gross. In that movie, he was like Luke Skywalker, right? They put him in that yeah. tank, the back to tank. The back to tank. <laughs> but he didn't have any fur moving and floating around in the water. Hmm. So I always assumed he had just skin. I, in the Detective Pikachu movie, a lot of the Pokemon that you think look like it's more skin-like mm-hmm. feel like they have that more fine fur. Yeah. And Mewtwo's be. in that movie, too. I'll have to yeah. maybe yeah. look at that and see. 
You know, you ever look up like realistic Pokemon drawings oh by really God, good they're artists? They're horrifying. Some of them are terrible. Now, not in that the artists are bad. No. No, no, just the, the yes. thought yes. of how that Pokemon would look. Uh, yeah, it, it makes me like, I'm glad they don't exist. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Especially with some of the size of some of them. Uh huh. <laughs> But anyway, depending on the size of this Groudon and Kyogre, we might be having some tough times next episode. They looked pretty big. They did. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and watch that next week. We'll see you guys back here. Bye. 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 Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Pokemon Ultimate Journeys. Remember, you can go to blindwave.com right now and check out up to four more, uh, which we don't have very many more on this series. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll see you back here next time.